back for a new season of the Beards Bourbon Whiskey Podcast, man. Completely reimagined, dog. We're going in a different direction this time. You see, we're in a brand new space, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, thank you for joining us on this ride. Of course, you got the usual suspects, man. I got my man Bo in the building. I say. Got your boy, man. That's me, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Off camera, of course, we got Angry Principal. What's up? And we still got a uh, we got a guest in the building today too, man. We got my man E Beasy in the building. E Beasy, what's the okay. deal, man? Hey, I'm so happy to get back to drinking some whiskey and some bourbon, dog. I'm super excited. Um, we got a couple of uh, double old joints for y'all today. Right. So these are preferences of Angry Principal. Um, the one Peerless Distillery. I remember uh, we went down to Louisville and went to the Peer Peerless Distillery, and this might be where you picked it up from. I'm not sure, um, but I didn't get the double oak one. I got the I got the regular one, so um, this will be my first time trying that. Uh, Wolf of Reserve, of course, is a is a crowd favorite. Never had the double oak though, so this is going to be something new for me. So um, let's let's get to it, dog. We go passing around. We go let Angry Principal pour his first shot. Y'all remember Peerless Price? Pe yes, in Tennessee, he was so, a beast. He was such a beast, dog. Yeah, he was a beast. What happened, what happened in the league? Who Buffalo, right? When he came to the league. Who? What happened in the league? Oh, in the league. I thought you said what happened in the league. Like, who was oh, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, who was Lee? Pause, pause for the court. There we go. All right. Yeah, um, I don't know. Just, was it in Buffalo he went to? I can't uh, even remember. I can't remember. It's, it's been so long ago. Right. But yeah. his college career was. Oh, yeah. He was a beast. College At Tennessee? Yeah. For sure. Peerless Price. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. All right. So this Peerless, um, I didn't catch it when we went to Louisville. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, I was headed back down to pick up Little Man from college. <laughs> oh, so you decided okay. to pull off the road downtown Louisville. Gotcha. And so you didn't, you, didn't take the, you didn't get it the first time either? No, I didn't okay. get it the first time. Okay. So I went down there and they were, on, they were selling some select stuff. Gotcha. And so I had to make a choice between this one, the Double Oak, and some other joint. I, I had to taste it, so I said I'll go with Double Oak and let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, retail on it was 120 Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but everything that they had that they were selling uh, that day was all 120 and above gotcha. because it was such a select uh, barrels that they had pulled out. So it was a special run for them. Gotcha. So just happened to get the last one of the last three bottles they had left of the double oak. Gotcha. And so I think it was 120. 120. I believe. Yeah. Okay. Right. And the double oak we're looking at 107, 107.9 proof. All right. So it's 53 percent and some change i'm gonna tell you right now though off rip it smells delicious it does now i've had the peerless uh That's... the regular uh peerless and i can't remember right. i can't remember what proof it was but this shit smells delicious i'm getting, I'm getting apples i'm getting caramel i got the caramel off rip. a little touch of cinnamon maybe mm, mm. cinnamon i'm only getting chocolate Was that chocolate chocolate definitely yep i ain't gonna lie though the apple's strong as oh it is yeah yeah but I know but it's, it's not good. Like it's, not, it's not. It's not overpowering though. Yeah. You know. I it's, gotta see what it tastes like. You know, right? like like that. Uh, <laughs> the last show we did, Stella. Yeah. Smelling Stella, it was like, oh, I know this shit gonna be sweet. And you know what I mean? But this ain't like that. Yeah. yeah. I like. Uh, of course, I like that shit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I like this. Oh yeah. It's a. Uh, it's got. A, it's got a little. Uh, it's got it's some got woods little, at the end. It's got. Know? It's got a little hug. It's got some woods some cedar. in there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, hey, some cedar. He, he made it specific. I said woods. Like, <laughs> cedar is woods. You can definitely taste the char in there. Yeah. At the back of mm, it. Yep. The sweetness, the sweetness offsets, like, the hug perfect for me. And it, it's, it's a little bit of a lingering hug, but not too bad. So, remember with the double oak, it's mm -hmm. putting this original barrel, mm -hmm. taking it out and putting it to another barrel that's been, uh, I think it's newly charred. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you, you're doing it twice. And you letting it sit and marinate for that amount of time. I'm not sure how many years. Does it say on the bottom? I don't know either. Uh, I don't know if it's age statement on it. No, it doesn't. Okay. Nope. Yeah, just say uh, just uh, twice barrel. That's all it says. I've never, I've, I've never had peerless. I never had double oak. I never had you know, uh, 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 single barrel. Single barrel. Any of that, oh, none right? Of that. Okay. None of that. The distillery off the chain. Yeah. The distillery was mad yeah. fun. I, I suggest a good if you. Time. If you've never been to Louisville, or even if you've been and you haven't been to the Pillars Distillery, mm -hmm. um, definitely check it out. The tour guys were wonderful. Um, I seen inner workings of the of the distillery that I didn't even know exist, and then uh, we got a chance to to understand like the the difference in levels and the rig houses and everything like.
It's, mm. It was amazing. It was amazing. Like I, I definitely, I would suggest if you've been down to Louisville and you want to go to the dist the distillery, <laughs> you definitely need to check out uh, Peerless. And and I ain't gonna lie, we did like uh, some somewhat of a like taste test at the beginning. Yeah. And by that point, I was already drunk. Like, I was, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Andrew Prince, what, what do you think about the combination with a cigar, though? Oh, it's, this is absolutely wonderful. What you smoking? I'm smoking a, nap, a Daruma Nappy B. Now, okay. Nappy B, that's one of your favorites. It's one of my favorites, but here's the bad part. Can't find them anymore. Word. They're not selling them. Wild Bills was selling them, but they no longer have them. Because you ain't got a gang on them last I, time. I bought every one of them. They not, exactly. Are they not making them anymore? I don't know. Can't get them anywhere up here. So well, Next time you come out to Ann Arbor, we got a nice, I'll take you to this little cigar shop out there. Okay. You too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you can well, find something out of there. This, this is one of my favorites. This one, if I if I find it again, I'm loading up. I'm just gonna <laughs> right, buy all of them. Last time, right? So <laughs> that's know, the way I, to do it. The chocolate really comes out big time with the cigar. I okay. think, yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. I, quite honestly, I didn't taste the chocolate when you said it. I tasted it with the smoke though. I said I didn't taste the chocolate off rip. But also too, though, I guess like even when, and this is probably a long shot, but even with the cigar. After after the hug with the cigar, it almost tastes like uh, regular cocoa. You know, like that the the kind of the for real cocoa, the stuff like, that's like the powder cocoa. The powder cocoa, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It tastes like that kind of bitter. Now, I remember bit. Peerless; they do a lot of experimenting. Okay. So even when we went to the um, distillery, <coughs> they had all those experimental type of. Uh, uh, Oh yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. and and they, were, they had like a jasmine. They had they ones did. that taste like burnt jasmine. Orange. Really? Yeah. Like, it was, it was, that would be interesting. It, it, I just it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. What? It wasn't. And the bad part that wasn't the only distillery we went to down there that had a jasmine type really? of liquor. Uh, oh yeah. Um, uh, what was that? Um, the one where we went and got the Lincoln from. Right. They had. I can't think of the name of the distillery though. Boundary Oak. Boundary Oak, yeah, that Boundary was Oak, they had a jasmine type tequila. Tequila, and um, it, was, it was like their number one seller. I don't do yeah. tequila anyway. It was like their number one seller, so I obviously, you know, I, yeah. I took a shot, and I was just like, yeah, maybe not, but I will tell you this, though. <laughs> I will tell you this, though, in all seriousness, you probably can drop it in some tea, and probably, it probably gets you together. Hot toddy, oh yeah, that's the way to go. Hot toddy get you together. Yeah. That's the way to go. Okay. But yeah, Pillars, they try some experimental stuff, and the stuff that they were giving you at the tasting room mm -hmm. was actually decent. It was pretty good. I wasn't buying it, but it was pretty good. Okay. And we went ahead okay. and got the regular bottles. Now, here's the reason that I really wanted to go to Peerless. Up here, the MSR, the uh, retail on the regular Peerless was $129. Mm -hmm. Down there, we got it for 80 Yep. So that was the main reason I wanted to. I at least tasted it to see if I actually supply and demand at its finest, right? But to go right to the source and get a fifty dollar discount on it, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that was That's that was right. worth it. I and then so. to find out that the, the the distillery was that good, that nice, mm -hmm. and that much fun. Hey, it was, I tell you it was what, man, good. like I've been down to Louisville a couple of times, you know, and hit up a distillery here or there, mm -hmm. but never really made a trip out of it or a day of it or something like that, right? You know, like for for y'all that's, that's looking and listening or whatever, like you get, you get a chance. Louisville's a pretty dope city anyway. It, 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 it's, a, it's a hidden secret. Like, it, it, it's a well-kept secret, for real. It is. But uh, get on that bourbon trail, get out there, and just... It's not just for the derby. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the derby's dope, though. Don't get me wrong. The yeah. derby's dope. Like, I did it once. You know, I had got all dressed up and all that shit. You know, it, it was I dope. Wanna, I want to do that. You know, it I was... I want to do that. It, I, I wouldn't be pumped to do it again. But, you know... <laughs> He's that pumped. Yeah, yeah, you know, but it was, it, it was straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, shout, uh, shout out to Louisville. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Louisville. But yeah, you know, get on that bourbon trail, y'all, and just go experiment. Just go t taste shit that you ain't never seen before, you ain't never heard of before, because... Because I had never even heard of Pierce. I'm telling you. Yeah, like, I had heard of it before, but I had never had it, yeah. really, you know, so... So this is uh, this is pretty good, though. Well, I, I guess the good thing about the, the Peerless Distillery is, of all those places in downtown Louisville, mm -hmm. that's the actual distillery. They're actually distilling there. You can see the whole process. Right. Whereas the other places are just tasting rooms. Kind of tasting rooms. Yeah, So right. you don't really see the process. We got a full tour. We got to see exactly. how to do everything, which you can do at Peerless. But like, yeah. say you go to the Evan Williams experience. Yeah, which is I've been to that. It's yeah. basically a bar. That's it. Yeah, that's all it is. So it's yeah. a little different. So Peerless, I liked it because you got tasting room. You got the mm -hmm. distillery. You get the Rick House. You got that, yeah, everything that's what I'm saying. One we actually stop. got a chance so to go to that the was Rick actually houses. a very very cool uh, spot for us to go. Yeah, the it's Blanton's like, uh, Distillery. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Heaven Hill. No, Buffalo Buffalo Buffalo, Buffalo Trace. Trace. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. That's another good uh, stop, man. I'm telling you, get a chance yeah. to go check out Buffalo Trace. Right. And they're gonna talk to you too about the heist that happened, right? Oh. Okay. When, when all those bottles of Blanton and whatever it was, Pappy and whatever else it was. Came up missing and stuff. It was yeah. something like, 
uh, like one point five million dollars worth of liquor that wow. was just gone and like shit. Yeah, wow. but like that was back. They'll tell you that was back in the days where they was doing everything by hand. Yeah. You know, wasn't really like. Yeah, I think it's actually about a hundred bottles, maybe <laughs> right. something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> it was expensive, you know, because a bottle of pack you gonna run you like uh, just like the 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 the, the reserve about was it uh-huh. the Van Winkle Reserve or whatever it is gonna run you probably like seven hundred bucks, you know. Man. And that's probably the cheapest you're going to find it. That's yeah. quite a hefty that's penny. for the secondary market. Exactly, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, the secondary market. I will oh, talk about That's that. at least going to be double, right. at least. You know? <laughs> you but might. this uh, Peerless, you, I would put it up there. I, okay, I don't feel like I got cheated out of my money spending 120 on it. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth on this bottle. Because I've definitely spent 120 before and been pissed. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this, I do not feel like I was cheated. It was not worth it. Uh, especially the fact that it's giving you so many other notes that we're not used to getting out of, of bourbon. Yeah. Like I said, Peerless, they do some experimental stuff and it's real nice. I like yeah. it. I like That's it. That's definitely good. And obviously, you know that I like it because it's, it's sweet. <laughs> it's got a sweetness to it. Now, uh, EBZ, you the, you the novice in the group, even more novice than me. Thank God we got somebody who don't know as much about whiskey as everybody else. But uh, what you think about it, Doug? Because I know not too long ago you were uh, a cognac drinker and, you know, a white liquor drinker. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how has this switch up been for you? Cause this whites is, only I, pies. I guess you're <laughs> whites only. Because this is, this is a, like, from, like, even from cognac or even lower level whiskey up to a double oak is a is a big jump. So, like, how you mm-hmm. feel about it? What you think I about guess it? you just say, yeah, I, I, I am, like, just going into whiskey, bourbon um, from cognacs. But uh, for this one, it's... He it's said, a, bitch... Right. That's exactly what he said. That's what he really said. Right. That's that politics. Right. I understand. But I could taste the notes of the chocolate. I wish I was smoking right now, but shit, so you don't, can agree. See. shit don't agree with me right now. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I could take, taste the notes of the chocolate. Um, I definitely uh, sense that apple, the cinnamon. Uh, now the, the apple know, smell is more overpowering than the apple's taste, though. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I can smell, I can smell the apple mm-hmm. in that. Um, but mostly that chocolate, and that cinnamon. I can, I can taste and smell the cinnamon. Yeah. Um, so I go back to that to ask you, what the fuck is a hug? 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 That hug. warm feeling. Oh, that, that, warm that's feeling. the hug. That's when, the, yeah. when, you, when you go down your throat. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's, when you go down your throat. Yeah. So, okay, so, that's the hug. So, yeah, that's the hug. They call it Kentucky hug. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. It's a different hug on this one. There you go, right? That's what this is about, bro. That's what this show is all about. Can learn from babies and fools. So, How can you not fight somebody that say that shit about you? <laughs> you know, they're sitting there some shit like, like dick soup. What? You said what to me? Big suit. <laughs> he not even, what? He's not offended because it's true. Bro. I don't even care about the context he talks about. Truth. Like That's his truth. That's why he get mad. <laughs> Shit. What? That's his truth. Uh, all right, so. <laughs> so, where was we at? <laughs> all right. So, so we've heard we've heard from EBZ from a, a novice standpoint about, you know, the, the things that he encountered in this drink. And now we're just going to go around real quick and try to get, you know, everybody's final opinion on it. Um, but once we get that, we're going to actually move over to the Wood for Reserve. Oh, shit. And then we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to see, like, which one's actually better. All right. So um, we'll start with, uh, you know, we'll start with EBZ since he's a guest today. EBZ. If you had a chance to rate this uh, on a scale of one to five Black Power Fists, hmm. what would you give Pillars Distilling hmm. Double Oak? I'll put it in. So, Ooh. One being the least, of course. Five so, being oof. this shit is Malcolm X. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a Malcolm X falls and I do right. I give it a three point five because mm. I love larceny mm. and and I sort I, I like mm. concrete. Not but pretty larceny, dope. Larceny. larceny is to me is smoother. Angry yeah. Pistol don't like larceny. Really? Yeah. He's the biggest Larceny fan, no. He's not. I can understand that, though. Like, okay, I some people are not. Proof. Look, I get it. Proof, I like it. Okay, okay. Yeah, but the, the one we lost the episode. Yeah, I got I you. I got you. But I like, I like those notes, that, that, that taste, that, that, that chocolate taste, and I can even taste it without the smoke. So mm-hmm. I'm good with giving that a 3.5. Okay. Know? Yeah. Room I dig that. Room for growth. I got hey, you. Hey, you know. Anchor Principal, what you say? All right, so I'm going to... 3.75 <laughs> because 3.75. Okay. one maybe because of the price 
Okay. It's not something I'm going to be buying often. Yeah. That's why we're not drinking this anymore after this. Oh, no. Yeah, no, we're <laughs> done. Going, going back <laughs> to the cabinet. So, but um, we're the done. price puts it, it doesn't make it something that I'm going to be drinking every day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and the fact that I can only get it, I haven't seen it up here at all. Right. So, I can only get it when I travel down through Kentucky. Uh, you know, so it makes it a little, it's not as accessible. So, yeah. that's the reason I'm not giving it higher. Okay. Uh, but I do love the taste. I think it's a great, great sip. Uh, excellent. If I'm celebrating something, I'll pull it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. So, Bo, what you think, man? And so, this is your first time having yeah, anything this, peerless. Yeah. Okay. You know, I've heard about peerless. You know, I've known about it for a long time, but yeah. it's always it's been one of those bottles that I've always been around. You know, met, getting around to, but never had the chance to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm I'm impressed. Like from just like a taste standpoint, you know, a a, a flavor standpoint. Mm-hmm. I would say four, okay. but from like just the, the cost and the, the supply and whatnot, obviously like Angry Principal said, makes it tough to find up here, you know, so I would say three from that standpoint, so all together I had to get about 3.5 Black Power right. Fizz, yeah. I got you. Yeah, it'd definitely be higher, like I said, if it was, I mean, you know, supply and demand, but more it, yeah, it'd be more accessible, I would definitely bit, put it a little higher. Pricey. Right, I right. All right, <clears throat> I think that, yeah, so... On the, on the strength of everything involved, I'm still I'm in that same area. I'm gonna give it a three point five. Um, obviously, you know fours and four point fives is 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 hell uh, for you know Uncle Nears, <laughs> but uh, three point five for me because uh, for sure. Obviously, if you've been keeping up with this show, uh, you know I do have a, somewhat of a lighter palate. So things that are sweeter uh, obviously always taste better to me. So um, that's why I enjoy this one, and I am super excited that the overpowering smell. Uh, of apples in the nose See, is just the smell. I don't it's think it's overpowering though. It's a lot. I think it's significant. It's, it's I think you're like, oh, okay. Like, I don't normally, but, I'm not normally able to pick out a specific yeah. shit, and that apple hit me strong, but I'm super glad that it, the, the taste is not strong in apple. The taste right? metal, yeah. Yeah, so the taste is way metal, more mellowed out, uh, a little more chocolate than anything, especially on the finish. Uh, it's almost got somewhat of a chocolate aftertaste, and I don't know if that's because of the, uh, it could be because of the stogie, but definitely a strong 3.5 something i would definitely recommend um even if you've never had a double oak or if you've never had a peerless at all um this is a safe one to start with even if you wanted to get this one as opposed to um the regular bourbon so um 3.5 i think sounds like around the board of 3.75 uh for angry principal i'm gonna throw something in on that though right mm-hmm. i was at a wedding last week mm-hmm. and uh it, 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 it was nice it was nice right i had a good time and uh i ain't never I couldn't do it. I, I didn't really drink much, like, at all. Because all that was there was Martell, <laughs> Winnie, Hennessy. You racist. You know, like, I guess so, right? I had a little flask, which I had some, you know, what for double, double oaked in there. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I had a little bit of that. And people were looking at me like, <laughs> what is like, that? Like, what is that? You know, what like, oh, this bourbon. What the hell? It's bourbon. Right. Was Ain't you a redneck? Yeah, yeah, you know? And so I'm like, yeah, you know, so it just that just let me know right there that bourbon is still making inroads in the black community, man. You and know, that, still trying why, to get there. And that's why this mm-hmm. show, this is why this show is important. That's why this podcast is important because you got uh, people who, when you look at us, you don't automatically think that we identify with whiskeys and bourbons. But I think this is a, a way to get a good transition into that market because uh, at the end of the day, like just being completely honest, I was a super cognac drinker, but in real life. You can find a million whiskeys or bourbons that taste a million times better. A lot any, cheaper. A lot cheaper. A lot Simple cheaper. Simple as that. Yeah, nobody <laughs> wants to be stereotyped. Yeah. Simple as that. Like, I, I can literally go get a bottle of 100 proof uh, Evan Williams for $17.99. And, like, it's, a good, like, and, and it's a good pour. And it's, and it's a good pour while you're spending $50, $60 for a pint of Doucet. You know what I'm saying? And it don't even taste good. Mm. Like, it don't even taste good. So, anyway, I'm not hating on other spirits, but I'm just saying. I will hate, though, because <laughs> we had, you know, had family in town. Mm-hmm. And so, my aunt, who is a Excuse diehard, me. when I say diehard, mm-hmm. I mean, first time I ever heard somebody say, keep your hands off my liquor. <laughs> <laughs> she had, I, I finally got her to taste some bourbon. Okay. And once I put just a little bit of water in it, because it was... The proof was overpowering for mm-hmm. me. Because mm-hmm. Hennessy is what? 40. 80. 40. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. So drinking something at 94, and it was just some uh, some wood for reserve. Okay. It but was too much for it. It's too much. Yeah. Yeah, so too I much. put a little bit of water in it, and she was like, oh, 
And you saw the light bulb hit. <laughs> because it actually tastes good. Right. That's the thing. Like I, I've been drinking cognac for so long and just realized. And we've hated it. It doesn't taste right. <laughs> right. We hated it. And it doesn't taste good. No, so, uh, it's French anyway. Like cognac right. is French. How, how we start drinking French shit? It's, it's only the water. <laughs> cognac is nothing but brandy. It just happens to be the water. That's exactly. the only reason right. it's called cognac. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, because it. made a con cognac France. France. That's, yeah. it. That's right. That's yeah. the only reason. Right. So 3.5 is all around plus the 3.75. We definitely approve Peerless Distilling Double Oak. Make sure you check it out. So you know what time it is now, though. We got to move over, right? Now, everybody else, I think, other than me and EBZ, have had uh, Wolf Reserve Double Oak. I've never had it. So this will be a first for both of these for me. So we're going to get this a shot. We're going to pass that around. We're going to let your principal pop the cork on that joint. We'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going to go cleanse this.